This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News. KHOU.com reports from Bay City. All four small children shot by a man who also shot their mother have died. The shooter took his own life following the brutal assault Wednesday. Police found the victims at about 3.18 p.m. Wednesday inside a home in the 2700 block of 10th Street. Neighbors said it was a husband and wife and their four children, who ranged in age from about two to six years old. Lieutenant Andrew Lewis from the Houston Police Department said the female and the four kids were transported to Matagorda Regional Hospital, where the four kids were later airlifted to various hospitals in Houston. The alleged shooter died at the scene from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Neighbors said the man shot his wife first, then his four kids before turning the gun on himself. He worked nights and all of a sudden he was having trouble with his family. He had lost his job, a neighbor said. WFAA.com reports from Haltom City. Tracks in the grass led a curious motorist to a sad discovery on Tuesday. Down in a dark creek bed, an overturned car was smashed against the rocks. The body of 85-year-old Earl Davis was still inside. The family of the World War II U.S. Navy veteran received positive identification Wednesday morning. They had been searching for him since he left his Halton City home nearly two months ago. I don't think you ever give up hope, said his son, Daryl Davis. The car came to rest only 30 feet or so from the well-traveled Interstate 20 service road about five miles west of Weatherford. It stormed the day after he disappeared, so investigators wonder whether Davis slid off the road. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News.